This is Cape Chronicle. I'm Jacob McClellan. Public health agencies have made solid ground in their efforts to curb smoking in Cape Girardeau County, but more still remains to be done. And the obesity epidemic is still a growing problem. Here to talk about some of the health concerns in Cape Girardeau County and efforts to tackle them is Jane Wernsman. She's the director of the Cape Girardeau County Public Health Center. Jane, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. Thank you. Well, let's let's start by talking a little bit about the uh, the Cape Girardeau County uh, Coalition for Health. Um, who's who's involved in this coalition, and 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 what's the idea behind what what this coalition is going to be doing? Well, to start back just a few months ago, um, the health department uh, every three years conducts a community health assessment, and this past fall and past spring, um, both hospitals also conducted a community health assessment. So we thought what better way to, to make an effort or make an impact than to all of us join together and create a coalition in the community and we've called that Healthy Communities Coalition. Uh, f taking the findings from all of our community health assessments to make an impact or make a difference on some of those indicators of priority health issues. One of those being the obesity rate. Well, let, let's talk a little bit about the three areas that this coalition is really targeted being uh, 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 smoking, uh, obesity and and immunizations. W why were the three these the three areas that were that were that were decided upon to target? Well, there again, going back to the community health assessment, we do we take a look at all kinds of information, data, uh, health statistics from uh, local, uh, state, and national, and and try to compare ourselves not only to to local areas but also to state and national figures that have an indication of where we should be at as a community and within those indicators. Those three areas, uh, at least the health center identified obesity, smoking, and immunization rates for our two-year-olds as to be priority areas that we wanted to focus on. And so the Healthy Communities Coalition decided to even focus a little bit more specifically on the obes obesity rate. Well, let's talk a little bit ab ab about that obesity rate and the and, and obesity here in, in, in our area. Is this something that, um, is it partially uh, exercise? Is it partially access to healthy foods? Is it cultural or a little, a little bit of everything? There? I think it's a little bit of everything. As you know, a lot of behaviors can affect a lot of, the, a lot of our health conditions and a lot of our health outcomes. Um, of course, diet has a big part into it, um, but you know, you're looking at caloric intake, but then you also need to take about how you're expending those calories. Are you getting enough physical activity? Are you getting up and moving and um, getting the exercise that would be recommended? And your diet, is it the proper things that you're eating? Now, as far as are there have there been any uh, what what are, what are the what are the, what are the uh, uh, actions that have been taken by the by the coalition well, one, to start tackling this? Yeah, one one unique thing that we're really proud of um, that we were able to uh, host this last fall was a program that we're called Walk a Hound, Lose a Pound. We partnered with the Health Center, the Humane Society of Southeast Missouri, the City of Cape Girardeau, the Parks and Rec Department, and both hospitals were involved in um, having the shelter transport dogs to the Osage Center and to the walking trail that runs behind there. And the health center conducted blood pressure, height and weight and BMI measurements on individuals who then were able to walk the dogs along the walking trail. So, you know, shelter animals don't always get all of the exercise they need and neither do we as individuals. So at both ends of the leashes, you know, we were getting that exercise and some interaction there. And that's a great, and that seems like a, a yeah. real unique way and uh, a fun way to to go and to go and get a, get, a, get a little bit of exercise. Right. It was it was a, uh, a really good program, and we hope to try to continue it in the spring. Uh, going back to the to the survey that you uh, that you had conducted, mm -hmm. did it find that, that Cape Girardeau um, overall has the uh, uh, the requisite amenities um, for exercise that that, that that a community our size would would, would need? Overall, I think that those, those findings were there, that um, the city uh, in particular offers a lot of different, a variety of programs through the Parks and Rec Department. There's the walking trails, there was the fitness uh, center's fitness equipment at both the Osage Center and Shawnee Park. Uh, so the, the uh, facilities are there, we maybe just need to utilize them a little bit better. Let, let's go move on to, uh, to, to smoking. <laughs> are there, um, what, are the, what are the programs, the action that's being taken to, uh, to, to reduce the smoking rate in our, in our city? Well, there again, I can uh, address one of the uh, functions or one of the outcomes that the health center had identified was training its staff to be able to do some counseling one-on-one -on -one 
with our clients that we've worked that we have identified with uh, smoking, particularly those prenatals or pregnant women that are smoking. Uh, we do pregnancy testing services as well as our WIC program. So we wanted to find a free or at least an affordable way, uh, convenient way to try to give them some, some opportunities to cut back or quit on smoking. We partnered there again with St. Francis Medical Center and the American Lung Association and provided some freedom from smoking classes at the health center itself. And we're really excited to try to get started a program that's called SCRIPT, which targets prenatals themselves. If I if I recall correctly from the from the survey, also one of the one of the things that was really highlighted was there is the, an increased uh, risk for smoking in the county itself, uh, in 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 Cape Girardeau County, and, is, and are these some of these efforts that are really uh, targeted toward, towards uh, towards uh, impacting them? Uh, we will, we certainly hope so. You know, we we try to make the opportunity available, try to do s some education, and we probably could all do a little bit better job on getting that information out and the education out there. But Cape Girardeau County alone is not unique. Uh, I think when we you know looked at the figures and the statistics, Southeast Missouri as a whole had a higher smoking rate uh, than the rest of the state. Let's talk a little bit about uh, about immunizations. Mm -hmm. um, why is th why is this a, a an important area? Well, we try, right, try to take a look at those immunization rates for children who are up through the age of two if they're adequately immunized. And of course, when we're talking of immunizations, it's against those vaccine preventable diseases, diphtheria, pertussis, which is whooping cough, um, measles, mumps, rubella. Uh, so we want our children to be adequately immunized and to hopefully cut back or decrease or eliminate the uh, opportunity for communicable diseases. And when we're talking about uh, immunizations, are we also talking about uh, efforts to get everybody to go get the, the flu shot, for instance? Well, that is included as, as an immunization. It's not one of the required immunizations for school attendance or daycare attendance, for example, but it certainly is a good way to protect yourself against the flu. Just where should folks go if they're interested in, 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 in getting a, a flu shot this year? Well, the health center has traditionally, and this year too, provides um, flu immunizations at our office uh, on London Street, 1121 London. Uh, we do accept Medicare and Medicaid, and if an inv individual does not have one of those resources, we do have a slight donation that we request for that. And um, let's talk a little bit about the, the about the benefits of working as a coalition between the, the health center, for instance, and uh, the, the the two major hospitals here in town. What's 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 the, what's the benefit of that of, of of working as a coalition? Well, I think we all realize that one individual, one agency, one community can't do it all by itself, and so you have the support and you have a lot of great ideas from different perspectives. You know, with, with the city's involvement, they're looking at things such as sidewalks, infrastructure that can provide the locations and, and opportunities. We're looking maybe more at a health aspect of it. Um, the farmer's market uh, folks are involved, uh, providing uh, cooking classes, cooking demonstrations. How do you choose the correct uh, or, or proper fruits and vegetables? So, you know, it just gives you a lot more opportunity. We've been talking today with Jane Wernsman. She directs the Cape Girardeau County Public Health Center. Jane, thank you so much for talking. It's thank been a pleasure. You. All right. Ahead, heroin in Southeast Missouri. That's coming up on Cape Chronicle. Simple moments are what make every day count. Think you found every hazard out here today? Think again. The spot you missed could be a killer. That spot on your skin could be skin cancer. If you're a man over 50, you're in a group most likely to develop skin cancer, including melanoma, the kind that kills one person every hour. That's why your best shot is to check for a spot. It's easy. Follow through and check your skin. Go to spotskincancer.org to find out how. A message from the American Academy of Dermatology.